If you have a meniscus tear trimmed out, what we call a partial meniscectomy, are there ways to replace that part of the meniscus that was trimmed out? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. And I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. In this week's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I discuss meniscus transplantation and is that an option for people who have part of the meniscus trimmed out? All right, Antonio asks by Twitter, at Dr. David Geyer, hey doc, is it possible to replace a trimmed meniscus section? Example, partial medial meniscus trimmed. Well, that's a terrific question. And it is important to note that when you have a meniscus tear, a small percentage of meniscus tears can be repaired, meaning sewn back together. But the majority of them, because of where they are, where the tear is, and the type of tear, can't be repaired. That doesn't heal, so you have to trim out the torn part of the meniscus. You're not taking the whole meniscus out, just the part that's torn. But sometimes you are having to take a fair amount of it out, or you know, the majority of it in small, rare cases, because of where the tear is and the nature of it. And yeah, when you do that, you're losing some of that meniscus shock absorber, and that can lead to wear and tear changes over time, things like arthritis. So in some people, typically it's younger, active people that don't have wear and tear the cartilage yet, wear and tear the articular cartilage, arthritis changes, there is an option, what we call a meniscus allograft transplantation, or a meniscus transplant or meniscus allograft, where we basically harvest a meniscus and the bony attachments from people that pass away, and we implant it in the patient that has very little meniscus left. And that is an enormous surgery. It's a really big surgery, but it is an option to basically provide a shock absorber for people that, you know, without much of a meniscus, they could be having a lot of trouble in five or 10 years in terms of arthritis changes. Now, again, you would, would probably prefer not to do it in somebody that's older, maybe really overweight, heavy smoker maybe, somebody with pre-existing arthritis or wear and tear changes in multiple parts of the knee, somebody with sort of abnormal alignment so that the weight's going in an area uh, that will unnecessarily stress that meniscal allograft. There's a lot of uh, criteria that go into who is a candidate for it, but if you're concerned about it, Talk to your doctor, you know, find out if maybe you're a candidate. Most of the time we don't trim out enough of the meniscus that that's a concern, but it is something at least worth discussing with your orthopedic surgeon. Okay, have you had part of your meniscus trimmed out? And have you talked to your doctor about a meniscus allograft or meniscus transplantation? Or have you undergone a meniscal transplantation? I'd love to hear your experience. And honestly, I bet people watching this video all around the world would love to hear your experience as well. So below this video, share your experience so we can all learn from your, from your experience, your um, you know, dilemma, your problem, honestly. I, I can't wait to hear it. Okay, I record a couple of these videos every single week, three right now actually, plus I've started doing some live videos where I answer questions. So if you want to get notifications of those, subscribe to my video channel. On YouTube, click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page. You'll get notified when I'm online doing a live video or when a new video is ready. And I, I really hope that these videos on sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention are helpful. So consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, I really hope this video was helpful. I'd love to hear your experience and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.